Well, if I had to point to a fundamental mistake, it's, it's the uh, never ceasing American overestimation of its own wisdom and power and an underestimation of the effects its power has when applied uh, in other countries. The nationalist backlash, uh, the complexity of Haiti fascinates me. Uh, it's a beautiful, uh, uh, mesmerizing country full of uh, art, creativity, painting, uh, writing and a rich, rich knowledge of what is a complex and, and uh, very, very complicated history. And the U.S. Uh, blundered into Haiti thinking, you know, we can fix this place. Uh, uh, with the fall of Duvalier, who the United States had supported, uh, Jean-Claude du Duvalier and his father, uh, for three decades, the idea was there'll be a, a transition quickly here to democracy and we can uh, uh, grandfather this. We can watch over it, make sure it happens peacefully. And uh, the Haitians had a different idea, which is that they wanted a populist revolution. They wanted Father Aristide. They wanted a president who would actually represent the people. This didn't fit very well at all with the United States plan. And we've had, you know, my first piece uh, on Haiti was called The Transition to Democracy. This is 89. And we're still enduring the so-called uh, transition to democracy. And I think Haiti is a, a sort of a great model of the late Cold War United States. Uh, blundering, uh, confident in its power, confident it can remake other countries, especially small, uh, immiserated ones, and going in and generally making things worse. <laughs>